It's a great opportunity for professional growth. To be up to date. To establish collaboration. It's a good way to realize how little you know. I can think about new ideas. <laughs> this is my first time. We need to move forward together and learn from each other. This is the best endocrinological conference in Europe and maybe it's getting even the best in the world. This is my first Congress as President of EEOC. We had a great success last year with the biggest number of attendants in Dublin. So now we want to do even better in Munich. It's not only that the numbers are growing and it's a great place to meet, but it's constantly innovative. So as well as the content from the typical kind of symposia, meet the experts sessions and so on, there's all sorts of sessions on things like new techniques. We have new innovations such as the e-posters that we've had this year. We have lots of guided poster sessions and great networking opportunities as well. So it's really one not to miss. I went to a fantastic talk this morning on uh, genetic mutations and craniopharyngiomas, which I'm interested in. It's going to make a huge impact in these people's lives. And that's what these meetings should be about. We're all talking about it now today after going to the presentation this morning. For the attendants, they really get a large and a very good picture, an overview of endocrinology. For basic scientists to get a flavor of what clinical endocrinologists are doing right now, uh, clinicians are able to become aware of what basic scientists are already providing by giving answers to not yet raised questions in the clinic. I saw a really good lecture this morning given by a, a clinical endocrinologist who nonetheless discovered uh, uh, new mutations uh, causing Cushing syndrome. That was a, a clinical endocrinologist actually crossing over a little bit into basic science, so sort of translational research. That was very interesting. Young endocrinologists have chances to meet their peers and even more they can me meet other important endocrinologists. I'm making my PhD study at, at the moment and of course uh, I want to get a new information uh, useful for my investigation too. The collaboration opportunities here are fantastic and you do hear wonderful stories of people meeting here and continuing to work for many years together on research projects and the like. The knowledge is the, in the internet, in the books and, the, and so on, but the conversations to talk to other colleagues, to listen to the other experience. We learn a lot. We started off with 375 members in 06, and we now are touching up to 4,000 individual members. They come from almost 50 countries all over the planet. We have tens and tens of affiliated societies. We're growing. If you become a member of the European Society of Endocrinology, then you have many advantages. The registration fees for the congresses for members, there is a considerable reduction in the price. Uh, you get alerts what's new in endocrinology all over the globe. You are informed about the events. You have access to five journals that are published by European Society of Endocrinology and uh, other societies that are connected. And you can apply for grants uh, to attend uh, postgraduate courses and you can attend summer school in Bregenz and so on and so on. So it's very, very convenient, especially for young endocrinologists because the fee for them is very low. Lots of buzz about the place, interesting topics. It's really up to date, a lot of really excellent talks. Actually, everything I've been to has been very, very good. Munich is obviously the capital of Bavaria, it's a fantastic city. It's very easy to access for all of the delegates and there's also a fantastic congress centre. Apart from the scientific part, it's a lovely city to visit, so yes, I would encourage everyone to go. For the future of endocrinology, for the treatment of patients, for innovations in research and the capability of doctors to treat new and old diseases, I couldn't come up with any other platform that is so successful and will be successful again in Munich.